All right, guys, welcome to SoCal Bricks. We're going to go live with this Moss Isley Cantina. Day three, we're going to go over bag four. So it's great to have you guys here. So excited. And uh, let's go ahead and go live over here on Instagram. Get the uh, Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Yeah, we're going to cram this place today, that's for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and get Instagram here live and uh, get all, everybody all dialed in here. All right, let's do this. Having some uh, technical difficulties here with uh, Instagram. Anyways, it's great to be here, guys. I'm going to try this one more time, see what's going on. Let's get these people going. All right, here it is. Checking the connection. And it looks like we are live. All right, guys. It's great to be here. Hey, Daniel. Thanks for being here. We're going to go ahead and get started with uh, bag four. So thanks for checking us out. All right. Already got bags uh, one through uh, three, which is the uh, cantina aspect of it. We have the speeder as well. This was, uh, I think, bag one. And this was bag two and three. We got three minifigures that uh, were there. Uh, we got Luke. Uh, we have the uh, bartender. And I forgot this guy's name. But anyways, I'm sure you figured out, Daniel. Check this out. What's up, Lego Boy 88 We're uh, live on YouTube. Come check us out at SoCal Bricks. I got a better stream on that one. All right, let's get into this, guys. Bag number four. Looks like it's going to be one section of the cantina. Uh, that's basically the seating area. And it's going to have uh, Obi-Wan uh, with his uh, Jedi covering there. Super cool. Anything exciting happening in uh, your Lego world these days? Daniel, uh, did you enjoy your build? Of the Moss Eisley Cantina. All right, so uh, bag four has uh, one large bag and a couple of uh, smaller bags on the side. Looks like this is uh, more detailed here. With all these uh, small pieces. All right, guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. So excited you guys are here. Let's get started with this minifigure, Obi-Wan. I see his hood here. See. Got his torso. Got his head. It only has one single-sided printing here. The cape here or the hoodie. And let's go ahead and let's see where the legs. Lego Boy 88, thanks for uh, being here. Yeah, Daniel, uh, I'm just starting it too. Uh, believe me, I wanted to finish this thing in day one, but I'm going to pay, be patient with this. I'm going to enjoy the build. Uh, it's not every day that you get to build something so nice. So I want to be able to entertain you guys. Have some laughs, have a good chill out time, and uh, and build patiently. So, thanks for being here, Daniel. How long ago did you buy your set? Hey, Sandra, welcome to the stream. Glad you're here joining us. Daniel, you're more to you're more than welcome to build your moss Eisley together here with me. It'll keep us entertained. All right, where's the box for this guy? Here it is. Here I was looking for this cape, and here it is the entire time. All right, looks like there's more than one in here. So uh, this might be for all the other characters, but I found Ob ones. We'll go ahead and put this here on the side before I lose it. And he'll be our fourth minifigure of the build. Hey, 
Hey, Lego boy, welcome. Thanks for uh, coming on to YouTube, appreciate it. Hey, Daniel, you got it during Christmas time? That's pretty good. You're very fortunate to get it. Uh, these things have been sold out for quite some time, so I'm sure uh, that you were able to get that thing on time, so that's awesome. All right, so it looks like we have this character. It took me like three minutes to get it done, but but hey, we got it done. Oh, your store, oh, wow. So uh, what Lego store did you uh, did you go to? Because the one, the two here in San Diego have been out of stock for quite some time. Uh, the, the third nearest location would be either Legoland, which I'm like 10 minutes away from. I haven't gone to the shop there, but uh, Mission Viejo would be our other option. But here it is, Obi-Wan. Hopefully you guys can see it. You got his beard there. Really cool looking Obi-Wan here. Oh, no, you're good. You don't have to share. We're just a bunch of people. We're a bunch of strangers. But yeah, New York State, that's awesome. You guys are like three hours ahead, so uh, what, it's going to be uh, four minutes till 9 p.m. on the East Coast time. But here you go. Those are the four minifigures uh, from bags one through four. So this, this set is definitely packed with minifigs. One of the reasons why I decided to uh, – one of many reasons why I decided to buy this set. I love the minifigures. Yeah, the UCS ATAT -AT is my dream set, though. So hopefully the rumored one is is real. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Solid Brick Studios, MNR Productions, uh, Ash and Flash. I think they've all confirmed. Of course, they're rumors, but they all pretty much confirm, and they're legit sources that they will be um, an ATAT -AT coming out in November, which uh, I think it's November 26. So just a few days prior to my birthday. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, a bunch of great uh, Star Wars sets coming here, guys. I can't wait. Um, or maybe I can because they're going to be so expensive. So my goal is to pretty much buy the entire wave with the exception of the uh, Advent calendar. I'm not a very big fan of it uh, just because I'd rather invest that money in other exclusive minifigures or maybe some that have been retired. Uh, so that's why I really don't do the Advent. I, I see value in it, but not as much as a, uh, a rare minifigure. So I'd rather put my money in that. Any other sets you guys are looking forward to? I know the Bad Batch has their shuttle coming out. That's a really good one. Um, what else? Republic Gunship, that's gonna be awesome. R2-D2, which uh, I can't wait to get that one. I'm going to put it in my shelf. I'll actually be displaying that one. If you guys haven't seen my uh, uh, IKEA Lego makeover video, make sure to check it out because that's where uh, you can see my Lego display. So, Lego boy, are you going to stay up uh, late to build your cantina? I'm going to have a short stream today. The blacksmiths look good, but why is so price so as like a modular? You know, Lego's so expensive. I wish I, I I had the answer. I'm not sure. But uh, are you into modulars? Because like I think this is like a modular. Like this is the Ninjago City, one of my favorite sets. Still sealed in the box. Um, I'll be opening it. Be opening it soon, but I'm not too sure when. I think the blacksmith is coming out. Uh, when is that coming out? In the springtime sometime?
it looks nice though. I don't know if I'll be picking that up again. I'm, I just want to save my, uh, my funds for, uh, Lego Star Wars this year. Just a bunch of stuff coming out. And I'm super excited about it. Jack Kenobi, yo, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Great to have you here. Hey, I'm just curious, how'd you guys find my stream? Are you guys uh, subs or did you guys do a hashtag or did you guys do the search uh, on YouTube? How'd you, how'd you guys find me? I'm just curious. I'm always in, uh, intrigued on how people find me online <laughs> or on YouTube. Which is the same thing, I guess. All right, looks like we have some good good movement here. I don't tend to be here very long, guys. So it's, it'll be a short stream. I think I'll just do bag four and possibly five. We'll see how we go. Uh, depending on how much we chat here, I'm gonna keep it short today and spend some family time. But I, I did want to get some progress on the set, so that's why we're here today, or tonight. I got ahead of myself here. All right. Yeah, that sail barge is awesome. Yeah, really cool set. It'll go great with your uh, Moss Eisley here. You guys, uh, you can get a little mock going there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to do uh, another job of the hut. Maybe, who knows? Uh, but I heard it was very controversial to, uh, set back in the day for whatever reason. Uh, but I, I actually not the barge, but the... Um, or it could be the barge too, but the uh, palace. I have the palace. Java's palace. But uh, yeah, great, great set. Comes with a bunch of minifigures. Have you considered doing a mock with your uh, with your uh, sail barge and the and the cantina? I know I mentioned it earlier, but uh, are you actually going to be doing that? I think that would look really cool. Which, in fact, I think I'll be doing that here. I just uh, I got my son a new desk. And I have his old desk, which is like a an Ikea desk, uh, super flat. So I'm going to be uh, doing the Moss Eisley on that desk so we can have kind of a, a mock showcase of, of what I'm building here, along with a bunch of other Star Wars sets. I have like the original Cantina, or the, not the original, but the 2014, 2015 Cantina that I'm going to combine with this one. So some good stuff coming up, guys. I promise you.
Yeah, that's always the, the issue um, with Lego is having enough space to put your Lego in <laughs> or on. I have a very challenging time. Like, trust me, I would have all my sets showcased, but I wouldn't have enough room uh, where I can showcase them. So it wouldn't work for my household. Jack Kenobi, I've been going on since, I think my first video was March of last year when we got into uh, shelter in place. I just decided, you know what, YOLO. You know, I was 43 at the time and I was like, you know what, I had this stigma about being an adult playing with Lego. You know, I didn't want to be seen as a weirdo, but I just said, forget it, you know, whatever. Life is life, I'm just gonna go for it. So I did and uh, I, had, I was really hesitant in the beginning uh, with, uh, you know, creating content, but as I kept on, you know, doing live streams on whether it was on Instagram or on YouTube, I just felt more comfortable in front of the camera. I felt comfortable building in front of an audience, uh, in front of the lights, in front of the camera and having my mic here. I just said, why not? You know, I, I would be doing this alone. So I'd rather just have someone to hang out with, which you guys, so I appreciate it. And let's have some fun. I, I enjoy the Lego community and, uh, it's always been nothing but great experiences uh, with the community. So thank you so much for that comment. I appreciate it uh, because it just goes to show that, you know, no matter what age or background or whatever hesitations you might have, just do it. As long as uh, it's ethical and it's done with integrity, then just go after it, you know? So uh, your comment actually made my night or my day. I look forward to bringing more content got a couple of vlog style videos on the channel you guys are into that thing you guys are more than welcome to check them out appreciate the support i think i started being more consistent in july though with my with my videos I was also having a good time connecting with people through Instagram. Uh, Sapphire Bricks uh, was great to connect with. Uh, he's out in Germany, a Lego builder in Germany. So that was cool. 22nd Legion Bricks, super cool. I think he's from the East Coast. Yeah, I definitely agree, Jack. It's very therapeutic. Uh, it's very uh, enjoyable, and yes, it does um, take my mind off stressful things. You know, as an adult, you have responsibilities. I'm an executive for a large uh, real estate firm, so yes, I do have tons of stress. So uh, this thing definitely helps me um, cope with that. You know, so I appreciate that. How long have you been collecting uh, Lego? Are you, is it new to you or did you grow up with uh, with Lego? And here's the other thing too about Lego. It's a great investment. <laughs> so um, there's nothing wrong with that. So if you know what you're doing with Lego and, and, and you do it right, it's a great investment. So it's something that you can uh, build, enjoy, decompress, you know, have it as an outlet, keep it for a while, showcase it. Let it retire, and if you need to get rid of it, get rid of it and just get some new Lego and do it all over again. And uh, it's just so much fun. It keeps it entertained, entertaining. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the entertainment of building it, and then you also get the return on investment. So um, as you get older, you'll understand that you know it's great to buy things that make you money uh, versus things that you buy that make you lose money. I wish I knew that lesson a lot earlier in life, but it's okay. I'm teaching it here. <laughs> not that only, no, not that anybody was asking for it. I know it's unsolicited advice, but just came off the top of my head. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys. Hey, what's up, Mike? Welcome. We got the cool factor. 
Oh, my, uh, my mic's not that great, Mike. I'll have to check it out. Let me bring it closer. How about that? How's that? Oh, Jack. Well, good morning to you, sir. From the UK. I was there, uh, I think, uh, in the fall of 2019. I had a good time there. So, uh, Mike, I'm trying out a new, uh, my new Mac, iMac. So I, that's probably where I'm having the issue with the mic. But uh, let me know if I, if I still have it, that issue. If you guys haven't checked out uh, Mike from The Cool Factor, look him up. He's got some great, uh, um, he's got some great content. Yeah, no problem, Daniel. You know, these days, uh, the days overlap from one another. So it's your Sunday morning, so I'm sure you'll be able to sleep in. Ah, I see, Mike. Yeah, Jack. Um, I'm a, I'm a huge uh, Anthony Joshua fan. I love it. I was there in New York City when he unfortunately lost his belt, but uh, it was a great experience. I got to hang out with a bunch of Londoners, and that was a, an incredible experience listening to Sweet Caroline uh, in that crowd. I got to see Carl Froch, which was really cool. And uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Nielsen. I forget his name, but uh, they were all commentators. They were sitting literally two rows behind me. Uh, Tony Bellew was there too. So they were completely in shock when Andy Ruiz dropped Anthony Joshua. So uh, uh, that was a great experience. <laughs> I'm an Anthony Joshua fan. So, you know, kudos to Andy Ruiz, but I'm glad uh, Anthony Joshua won his belt. Now they're setting him up to fight with uh, Tyson Fury. So that's like the best of both worlds. You can't, that's probably going to be the biggest heavyweight fight ever. And I can't wait to see it. Hey, uh, Daniel, I uh, actually, Daniel and Jack, I actually have a video on my feed or my YouTube playlist of me being in a, the Lego store in London, which was a great experience. That's a two story uh, Lego store. It's, um, I'm going to say in, in British or in English, it's massive. <laughs> it's a massive Lego store and a uh, great experience. So go check it out. Hey, Mike, the, the, the build's going great. I'm in uh, bag four. It's uh, awesome. I think this is the only thing I'm going to do because if we're going to tune into your channel uh, while, you're, while you're building that Lego Ninjago City, Mike. So this is it right here. But let's, let's get your garden going, Mike, and, uh, with my city. How about that? And also, Oh, so you're sticking with – are you from the north side, Jack? I have something for you. Check it out. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Hey, what's up? Check us out. Instagram. We're on uh, YouTube at SoCal Bricks. We'll be right back. All right, Jack Kenobi, check this out. There's the official uh, Anthony Joshua hat that I purchased in uh, uh, Madison Square Garden, New York. That was great. And actually, believe it or not, I had the experience or had the wonderful privilege to meet Andrew Ruiz here in San Diego. So I was able to get an autograph uh, a, a guide, event guide uh, from that day. And I have Andrew Ruiz's uh, signature here. So that was super Cool.
So Northern England. Okay, perfect. So uh, the North side is really nice. Um, north side, that's where Notting Hill is, right? Or yeah, Notting Hill. That's a great place. I love the food there. Super nice. But I, I do love, I do appreciate Tyson Fury. Trust me, if it wasn't Anthony Joshua, like I would be Tyson Fury 100%. I love his charisma. I love his story. I just love everything about him. The guy is just legit. And um, he's just great. He just happens to go against Anthony Joshua. So I got to stick with the Southsiders, mate. <laughs> yeah. Do you have the uh, Manchester United... Um, uh, what's that stadium called? The Lego set. I know Mike has it. He has it, uh, I think, a review on his channel. So if you guys want to check him out, that would be great there too. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, he just lit me up. I had some great experiences in the UK. Old Trafford, there you go. You have that one, right, Mike? I could have sworn I saw I saw that in your channel. <laughs> yeah, don't buy it. You should. You know what you could probably do if you want to get some, uh, if you want to get some uh, some views, you may want to consider building that thing and then just destroying it, like kicking it, boom, and then just do like at all different angles, like slow motion, and then it'll just <laughs> burst. You know, you can always do that. Entertainment. We're not promoting hate here. We're just promoting uh, creative ways to entertain people. I just saw Brixie smash the Roman Colosseum. You know, it doesn't make him a bad guy. Uh, it just makes him an enter entertaining guy. And uh, I just couldn't believe how someone can destroy a $500 uh, Lego set. But I guess he had someone that... Uh, um, was willing to pay him uh, to do it uh, for the exact amount of money he paid for the set. So uh, he's a man of his word and he demolished that thing and it was uh, very entertaining. I enjoyed it. I think it just came out today. So that was super cool. Actually, let me see here if I can go on to, uh, I'm gonna go to my personal channel guys. I'm gonna put a link I hope I can do this um, to my the video there. Actually, let me see this. Um, I'll throw on the link for uh, the video there in London. Let me see here. Lister Square is where I... I have that video. There it is. You guys can check that out. And then I can show you, let's see here. Um, on my personal channel, I did a, um, a tour. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, um, I did a video of, me in the flat that we stayed in, in London. Mm, here it is. Let's see here. See if I can connect that to. All right, uh, guys. See if I can connect that link. Hmm. I don't see it. Where is this thing? Uh, here it is. London flat tour. I stayed in Westminster. Uh, which was like a one block away from... Uh, the cathedral where the royals got married. Let's see here. Here you go. I put the information on the links. 
All right, on with the build. Enough with that. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in here, guys. Um, but again, I, you lit me up just uh, talking about the UK. It's a great place, great people, and uh, believe it or not, the food is good. Got to eat uh, some food there at Wagamama, right by the London Eye. Oops, wrong one. Hey, Mike, what time are you, if you're here, what time does your um, does your stream start? Okay, Jack Kenobi, I'll definitely slub, uh, sub, mate. You have a new subscriber starting today. Or starting tonight or today for you or this morning. <laughs> All right, Mike, I'll try to wrap mine up as soon as possible so you guys can check out uh, Mike from The Cool Factor. He's going to be building the uh, Lego City Gardens. Uh, he's a great entertainer. He brings a lot of energy to his streams, very knowledgeable on the uh, Lego build and life experiences. So it's really cool. You guys got to check him out. Mike, he's my buddy. We, live, we both live here in San Diego. And, uh, you know, great guy, great channel. Uh, you can also see him as one of the collaborators of uh, – what's that big Lego channel called? Beyond the Brick. <laughs> you can see him there too. Uh, he does some independent work for them, so really cool guy. <laughs> I don't see you having stage fright, my friend. Hey, Daniel, 8,000. Yes, you're right. The betrayal at Cloud City. It is underrated, but – uh, maybe because it's awkward, you know, it's it's an awkward uh, build or like the way to display it. So maybe that's why it's underrated. But I agree with you. The minifigures are awesome. But if I had the opportunity, I think I would invest just in the minifigures over the set simply because that set's just too big and it's kind of awkward to display. Unless you have it like on a coffee table. But at that point, if you're going to use up a coffee table, you're better off going with the uh, UCS Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate it. Yeah, good luck, Mike. So uh, stop motion, that's uh, – is that challenging for you or is that something that's uh, pretty uh, easy for you to do? I mean, I have patience, but I don't think I have that kind of patience. Hey, Tasman Bricks, welcome to the live stream. Check us out. We're on uh, YouTube uh, at SoCal Bricks. Same thing. You get a better angle, better view. So just connecting anyone from Instagram over to uh, YouTube. So come check us out. All's well, buddy. Hope all's well with you. Yeah, for sure. It's all about lighting, right? Having the right angles, the right stuff. I don't know. Everyone has unique talents, you know, so that's awesome that you were uh, – you have that creative aspect to your, uh, to your many, one of many talents, I'm sure, where you can do that stop motion. Looks like fun. I mean, I would be like making movies and stuff or little commercials <laughs> with the minifigures. Um, that's awesome. So are you doing your um, Star Wars stop motions or what kind of stop motions? Hey, Tasman Bricks, welcome, mate. Appreciate you being here. We got a good group tonight, so appreciate that. 
We're doing the uh, Moss Eisley Cantina. We're in bag four, uh, day three. And uh, we're just going to roll with it, hanging out here, having a good time, connecting with people from uh, all over the world here on YouTube. And you know what? Lego Star Wars brings us all together. It's a wonderful universe, so it's awesome. <laughs> cool, man. That's awesome. Oh, good day, mate. That's awesome. So you guys are across the pond. We're California time here. It's about 6.26 p.m. on a Saturday evening. You guys make sure to put your uh, YouTube names there so we can do some follows. Australia. Nice. Uh, Down Under Bricks. I'm a huge fan of uh, Down Under Bricks. I don't know his real name, but uh, I've been watching him since like 2015. In fact, he's one of the original YouTube uh, Lego YouTubers that I uh, that I found on on YouTube. Um, his he had a, a tour of his Lego room, and he had Jabba's Palace. It was custom made. That just looked incredible. So that's what caught my eye or caught my attention. And uh, I've been watching his stuff from uh, since then. I like it when he says, holy dooly, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, great way to spend any day, right? Building some Lego. Like, uh, Costa Zoo, isn't he from, uh, from Australia? I think he is great boxer he beat the uh, great julio cesar chavez great mexican boxer world champion for decades or at least a couple of decades uh but costa su took care of him real quick of course he was older at that time but uh it was all good Oh my gosh, I'm having a challenging time here putting this little thing together. Oh, there you go. That cost me that, but all right, we can fix that. That's what I like about Lego. You can mess up and then you could just build it back. So that just happened. <laughs> Jack, that's awesome, Jack. Welcome to Instagram. Different angle. Um, you get to see my tomato face a lot closer, uh, my big rosy cheeks, but. Uh, Thanks for checking us out on Instagram. <laughs> Appreciate it. I do intend to have multiple cameras for future uh, live streams. I just picked up the Canon M50, uh, but I haven't downloaded the software to do uh, a second angle. So my intent is to have a camera facing this way and then uh, the other one kind of a drop down so you can see the actual build as I'm building. So that's the goal. Um, I just don't know if I have the skills to do it. But I'm sure with YouTube, I can figure it out. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, tutorials on YouTube, so I'm sure I'm sure we can make it work. Just to bring more value, more entertainment, and connect with you guys, and just have a good time talking about Lego life and whatever else uh, you guys want to talk about. Yeah, Costa's a Soviet-born Australian. Yeah, that guy packed a punch. Hey, thanks, Jack Kenobi. I'll, I'll follow you back. I really enjoyed watching uh, Ricky Hatton. Ricky Hatton beat Costa Zoo. That fight was incredible. That set up uh, Ricky Hatton for some great uh, matches, including the great Floyd May uh, Mayweather. Uh, sorry about that, guys, but uh, Floyd took him out. But that was a very entertaining fight. Ricky had put up a good uh, show, took it almost to the end, and showed the true heart of a true champion. So uh, kudos to uh, any Ricky Hatton fans that are watching this.
Not sure if you guys are, uh, remember those matches, but they were great. Great value, great entertainment. Oops, looks like I'm missing a mug here, but it's all good. Missing a P. Oh, here it is. So what else is new? Anything you guys are looking forward to in uh, 2021? Any big plans? I hope it includes travel because once they open this thing up, I'll be probably flying across the pond myself. Probably visit uh, Croatia or Italy, one of the two, for some much needed R and R. All right, this looks like I need a brick separator. <laughs> All right, let me check this out. All right, here it is. Went over one stud. Yeah, so I, I enjoy Sundays uh, for watching some great Lego uh, content on YouTube. MNR usually has his blogs on Sunday, MNR Productions, um, Brick Attack. I'm not sure if you guys know Greg. I've never met him personally, but I really enjoy his content as well. Uh, he has this show called Missing Pieces where he talks about Lego life and everything else that uh, you guys are open to talk to. So um, that's really entertaining. It's about 40 minutes of him talking nonstop, but it's all good stuff. Sometimes it's Lego related and at other times it isn't, but it's stuff that uh, is applicable to, to my life and uh, my relationship with my son, which is good. And it's great to see that other fathers have connections with their with their sons like that. I think it's important. All right, Mike, have a good one. Daniel, yes. Yeah, it seems like I don't I don't think there's one single government or maybe there is. Uh, I don't know too much about politics, but um I think other than Sweden, uh, most governments have failed uh, in regards to COVID. But again, uh, that's not my strength. That's not my uh, forte. Um, but yes, I, I just, I don't know if they even have control of what's going on. I just wish there was something that could be done about it sooner so that we can go back to uh, our unnormal, normal lives, if that makes sense. It's everyone's definition of Normal is different, but yeah, for, for us, meaning us, meaning my family and myself, uh, we enjoy traveling. So we get a little anxious about it because that's kind of what we look forward to. 
uh, most of the time. All right, guys. So I was getting ahead of myself here. I'm going to focus on these uh, details here because now it's getting a little detail here. My favorite episode of Star Wars. Hmm. Episode three. Episode three is my favorite one. But I also like Rogue One. So it's between those two. And from the original trilogy, obviously for me, it's Return of the Jedi. Uh, it's my first ever experience with Star Wars. How about yourself? I just really enjoyed episode three because it had that little darkness to it. You know, the all the angles, like from a cinematography aspect of it, I had like all the angles the darkness, the, the, the tones, and just, you know, Anakin, the way his eyes were looking, Palpatine, like all that just looked fantastic. General Grievous, just so much uh, stuff that came out of that episode three made it really enjoyable for me. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. What was it you liked best about Rogue One? If you can share that with me, that would be great. I can give you my reasons, but I, I want to hear yours. Now you guys can see why I do one bag uh, per live stream. I could, I've been, I think I've been on here for what? Almost an hour. <laughs> and I'm not even, fin I'm not even close to finishing. Uh, but I enjoy hanging out with you guys. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, definitely Rogue One proves that Disney can make a good Star Wars movie. That's for sure. Another good thing they could do is an animated series because the Clone Wars final season was great. Started off a little slow for me, but it ended well. Yeah, but just Rogue One was, I just remember the scene where, uh, you know, Darth Vader comes out and he just smashes everyone. Like, I, I mean, I get the goosebumps just thinking about it. It was an incredible scene. And I remember uh, Seabass, my son, yeah, when Vader came out, he was just like, his eyes just lit up. And he was just like, oh, Darth Vader. And then Darth Vader goes in with his lightsaber and his force and just demolishes people. That was great. But it also has a great story. And um, that was really enjoyable in all aspects of it, you know. It's a really good family entertainment, if you call, you know, mild violence uh, entertainment. But, uh, but yeah, that was a great movie. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interestingly enough, I think I may have made a mistake already. Glad I caught it on time. Yeah, hopefully. You know, I uh, I saw on YouTube uh, that I guess George Lucas is trying to erase that trilogy somewhere, somehow. And the way he's going to do it is through Luke Skywalker. So hopefully it's that season from when Luke, from Return of the Jedi to Episode 7. Hopefully it's that, that trilogy, that timeline, uh, that we can see what happened. Because I also want to see what happened to the cast of uh, Star Wars Rebels like they came out in Rogue One if you can see the ghost uh, during that battle uh, they come out and then they also I could have sworn I saw the ghost um, on in episode 9 so I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that was the ghost so I kind of want to see that timeline I want to see what happened with Ahsoka I'm not sure if she'll come out but I guess um, all these animated or actually live action Disney shows will, will tell us or at least give us some closure but um, but yeah, a lot of good stuff coming out. All right, so I have to rewind here a little bit because I made a mistake on one side here, and I'm not sure where that mistake came from. Ezra the Goat, yeah, for sure. Okay, mate. Uh, good night, Daniel. Have a good night. Enjoy your uh, your evening. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Um, I have Ezra right here. So uh, here's Ezra. And I also have uh, his Black Series, which if you guys want to check out my videos there, I have my first Black Series um, video. Uh, from Zeb Aurelius, so you guys can check that out. But here's Ezra, the goat. So it's interesting. I want to see what happens with his character too. So uh, he's a really cool guy. I really like this Black Series too. Very uh, detailed Black Series character here. You can see him there. And then here is his minifigure, Lego minifigure. So I'll be doing some videos here with some comparisons so you guys can check it out as well. Okay, now I know what I did wrong. Found the problem, but got it solved. Perfect. I had misplaced, uh, or I missed putting in one of the one by fours, or two of them. So that was the issue. You know, building and uh, doing the live stream. I mean, I know I said it was comfortable, but I never said it was easy. It is kind of challenging. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is sad what happened with Kanan. Uh, who's my favorite Star Wars character of all time? <sighs> That's a tough one. It depends. Like, are you talking about Sith, Jedi? 
you know, trooper. Like, can we have one like of each category? I mean, it seems like Ezra is yours, but uh, any other characters that might be uh, of interest? Maybe the Mandalorian, maybe. I'm not sure if you like the Man Mando, uh, but he's a cool character. Obi Wan, yes, Obi has a lot of wisdom. So I'm going to take it a step uh, or a notch under Obi Wan. I really like Anakin. I have to say that's my favorite character of all time. I just feel like um, he, his character. Like, where's his emotions on his sleeve? So with him, you know what to expect. You know, when something's bothering him, he'll let you know. And if he wants to boast a little bit, he will. I mean, at least in the uh, in the Clone Wars, he did. So at least for the next couple years, we're going to have just those live action shows along with the Clone Wars animated. Obi-Wan obviously is going to be out, but uh, I don't think we get any movies for at least a few years. Um, I forget Squadron. I think that's the next uh, movie that's going to come out, so... We'll see. We will see. All right, guys. So I have this section here that's uh, complete or semi-complete. I'm going to start the other platform, I guess, that connects to it. But for now, uh, here's what this looks like. We got a couple of chairs there. The cantina, a couple of tables. So this is what the uh, back part of the part, uh, back four looks like. Yes, for sure. Yeah, it's kind of like life, right? You um, you pass on what you learn to uh, future generations, which kind of like parallels with my life. That's kind of where I'm at. Yes, I'm young, but I'm older at the same time. So like I enjoy uh, teaching what I've learned in my industry. And I'd like to see others just like thrive with the knowledge that I can provide. Like, I just love it. Something that's rewarding about that. Uh, I know it's not for everyone because it's, it's not easy. Trust me being a mentor, but at the same time, you know, obviously because there's comes a lot of responsibility with it, but when somebody takes it on and actually applies it and does better than you, like, it's just great. So I can see how OB, OB1 uh, was hurt because he put all his uh, attention uh, to Anakin to, to make him a great Jedi and, and to see him go the other way with it, that's just must have been hard, hard. Yeah, exactly. You just keep passing it on, right? And then it's kind of interesting because Luke was helping Kylo and look how that ended up. So you just never know. 
it's one of the, I guess it's one of the risks that you take in life when you mentor someone. They can eventually be your, either your adversary or your competition. But hey, it's the risk you take, right? And uh, I mean, that's at least from a corporate perspective, not from a personal one. I mean, it can happen too. But um, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting how that works. And then again, I think Yoda had the same thing with uh, with Obi Wan. He passed that on to him, that knowledge. He had that with uh, Grievous. Oh no, not Grievous. It was um, Count Dooku. And Count Dooku did his thing with it. So a lot, of, a lot of lessons. That's what I like about Star Wars. A lot of life lessons in it, and good entertain, great entertainment. <laughs> Great entertainment. It's a good disconnect, just like Lego is. So it was like the perfect marriage. Lego and Star Wars. Keep that forever, guys. Keep it going. Keep us entertained. And then you add Disney on the mix, so it just gets that much better. My favorite character in Rogue One. Yours was Krennic. Great character. I love his accent. <laughs> um, he's just so passionate. Like the, the, the actor who played director Krennic, like he, you can tell he did some homework or something. Because he put it, his all into that character. Uh, I think mine is uh, Jen Erso. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding on that. Um, I like... Um, I can't think of his name. What's his name? <laughs> Diego. Diego is his uh, real name, but uh, what's his... Uh, Jen Erso's partner in the movie. They just get terminated together. Um, I like that character. I just can't think of his name. Maybe you can help me with it. You know, I had Krennic's shuttle. That's one of the ones I got rid of. Cassian, yes. For sure. Yeah, so I really liked when um, when Vader says to Krennic, he's like, don't choke on your aspirations. And then he chokes him. That was awesome. <laughs> But hey, in life, you know, sometimes that happens too. You know, someone takes credit for your hard work. It is what it is. But it made for great entertainment in that movie. That's for sure. And it came around, it came out around Christmas time too. So I remember that. Yeah, exactly. Invader's Castle. Which, you know, that's one set that I haven't, uh, I've never owned it. I'm not sure if I'm interested in it, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Again, it's uh, one of those things with Lego. It's like, I wish I had more room to, to display all this stuff because I really would. Like, really, I would never get rid of any of my Lego if I could just display it all. Like they would need no need for me to get rid of anything. Typically, I get rid of stuff so I can buy new stuff because it is expensive. And I just, again, I don't have room to, to show everything or showcase everything.
just the fighting scenes, like the story of just everything, you know, that, that's a really cool, that's a cool movie. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. A lot of great content. I love, I'm sure you're a Disney plus fan. Um, a lot of good stuff coming out of that. Like, so let's talk about great things from the pandemic, right? Disney plus is one of them. Kept me really entertained. Mandalorian, that was fantastic. In fact, I just picked up the Razor Crest uh, today. I did a, a trade online, or not online, but somebody had it on OfferUp, which is like a local um, like bargain app uh, where you can trade, buy, or sell stuff. And um, I saw that the, the guy I had a, a Razor Crest brand new. He literally just finished building it yesterday. And he was looking for some uh, Harry Potter sets for trade. So I offered him, I had the clock tower brand new in the box. And then I had a Hagrid and a Buckbeak little brick heads that I got for free. I know they're selling for 40 bucks, but you know, whatever. Um, I just offered the trade straight up trade and he agreed. And I, and I picked up the razor crest and uh, he was happy. I was happy. So it was a win-win um, on that trade. So I'll get to display it. But anyways, going back to entertainment, Disney Plus, I guess that's a positive thing. Yes, I agree with you with Obi Wan. It's gonna have the original Obi Wan. Um, I forget his, his the character, the guy's name. Um, I think he's British too, isn't he? He's um, he's coming back, so that's gonna be awesome because obviously, hopefully, he's more he's mature, so an older person now. And hopefully it goes along with uh, the storyline of Obi-Wan. So we'll see that. Well, I'm sure we'll see Darth Maul come out maybe. Um, so many great characters that will come from that. It's just so exciting. Ewan McGregor. Yes, that's his name. Oh, really? He's the greatest of all time for sure. Hello there. <laughs> oh my gosh. When he appears in General Grievous, like in episode three, that was awesome. Great lightsaber duels. Can't match him. He probably has some of the best lightsaber duels. He also played a great character on, uh, I forget what movie it was, um, but the Tsunami movie. I was like, I watched it back in the day, and then I saw it again recently, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's Obi-Wan. I had no idea that was him. Ewan McGregor. All right, let's see here. Let's see. All right, this thing's moving along quickly now. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, Star Wars even has comics. I mean, I don't care too much. Well, if we say we wouldn't talk about that, but uh, I wasn't a big fan of Poe Dameron's comedy. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, but does, uh, Star Wars has some great comedy there too. I really like, uh, to this day, I still like the, the droids. Roger, Roger. Those guys are hilarious. Especially when... Uh, General Grievous gets upset with them and he just smashes them. <laughs> Cracks me up.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. We're even to the Clone Wars, like the animated series. I like those because it has a lot of the backstory stuff too. I'm gonna get some water, guys. I'm a little dehydrated here. <laughs> We'll see who the Redeemer is. Yes, he is. Yeah, Mando is awesome. At first, I didn't know, like in that one episode, hopefully I don't have any spoiler, or this was a spoiler, but that one episode when Boba Fett comes out, like, I had no idea that that was the original um, the character from, from um, you know, episode two. I was like, oh, my gosh. He just obviously he's bald now, so he looked different. But it, I, had, I had to watch it, I think, twice to figure that one out. I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah, I like a lot the, the way they uh, mixed in some of the old era Star Wars into the Mando. Like they're combining the universes. I think that was a good like spin to it because it has like, you know, new stuff mixed in with clones, mixed in with the, uh, the clone era. And then it's mixed in with the, you know, the Jedi, you know, uh, Luke, all that. So it was like it felt like new, but yet it felt like nostalgic. It just had, they did it right. It was on point. I can't wait to next season. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, I know he, he escaped the Scarlac or the Sarlacc pit. But I didn't know that's where he got the burn and the scars from. So obviously that makes sense. I had a dark age from Star Wars for years. In fact, the last time I really saw those movies was in the 80s. And, um, and I got back into it like in 2012. I actually bought the Blu-ray uh, edition of the Star Wars collection. And I, I only did that because I wanted my son to, to watch them. Uh, my my girls weren't into that kind of stuff, so never experienced that with them. But my son, I, I bought it for him, and then we just, I got back into it. And then three years later, I got into Lego uh, through Lego Star Wars, which I never had experience with Lego growing up. So I never had a Lego Dark Age. Uh, because I just didn't grow up with it. I grew up with Transformers and G.I. Joe. That was my thing. My brother had Star Wars. That was his thing. Um, he was oh, five years older. So we got to experience episode uh, one, two, and three. My first experience was episode three. Or, I'm sorry. Two, th uh, four, five. My My first experience was episode six.
So it looks like you're staying up late tonight. Any uh, plans for the morning or today? I'm just going to lounge tomorrow. We have a uh, holiday here in the States on Monday. So I might do another stream on that day. So check it out. moving faster now but I'll make I'll make sure to follow you on uh, or subscribe to your your YouTube channel when I'm done with this which is uh, not too far from now got all this set up okay got that oh yeah all right looks like this is some stairs here some steps So I can't remember how many bags this uh, set has, but I think on the holiday on Monday, I should be able to get through at least a few. I won't do one. I'll do a few on Monday. Because I really want to showcase this set. But again, I'm going to be patient with it, but I, I do, I do want to showcase this. This is... I mean, that's my number one set ever, all time. But I know it's not Star Wars related, but I think um, this one's going to be my number one. And I own the Millennium Falcon. I have the Superstar Destroyer. Um, and I have some of uh, the Ghost. That's one of my favorite sets as well. Yeah, Oreo Matt, I'm going to showcase this. I can't wait myself, man. But... Um, but yeah, I'm, this this set has me super pumped. I just wish I had more time, but of course I have responsibilities. I am a professional, so uh, I'm not, and I'm not a professional YouTuber, so um, I do this when I can. But you're gonna see how I'm gonna tie it up, tie it in with the other sets. I mean, I do have the sand crawler, so it'll be part of uh, the mock. which is gonna be off the hook here. All right, let's see here. All right, got those two. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. You have options, right? So I'm like really thrilled that you guys can hang out with me tonight. It means a lot. Again, for the longest time, I build these sets with my son. He kind of grew out of it. Um, he's into his gaming, uh, Blue Instinct Gaming. You guys want to check out his gaming channel. Um, so the other option was for me to build these things alone. So I really don't like being alone, even though I'm a like introvert. Really, I really am. I just come across as an extrovert. But um, I don't mind doing this alone. But if I can do it with like-minded people, positive, energetic Lego community members, and, you know, that's why I'm here. I enjoy this.
Hey, Josh Bricks, welcome to Instagram. Uh, we got a live feed going through YouTube. Check us out at SoCal Bricks. Appreciate you, Josh Bricks. We're getting closer. Check it out. Looking sweet. So we'll see what this is going to lead to. down to our last few pieces here guys this was entertaining definitely you guys kept me entertained for sure i appreciate it guys you guys are awesome so if someone hasn't told you that recently um, it gives me pleasure to tell tell you that you guys are awesome <laughs> All right, so it looks like this is gonna connect here. Let's get this together. All right, they connect right here. It's where they snap together. Perfect, I see it now. So guys, I got an Instagram. It's all the same as my channel at SoCal Bricks. Make sure to drop a uh, a like there or a follow. I'll follow you back. Let's get our Lego community connected. I have a ton of Lego Star Wars sets, guys, so this is one of many to come. So you guys got any feedback or any sets you'd like to see me build, let me know. There's chances that I might have it if it's newer, older stuff. I mean, I have some of the older stuff, but uh, not as much as I used to. Again, I don't, I, I can't display everything, so I tend to um, get rid of my Lego and then I buy new Lego with it. It's kind of the way it goes, at least for now. Looks like there's a piece that's missing. Oh, no, it's not, it's down here. Uh, whenever I build, I get sweaty, obviously, behind the lights. So sometimes the Lego gets stuck on my forearm and then I, I tend to drop it. So uh, I found it here. That was the missing piece.
that connects this here. So this is gonna lock the two plates together along with this section here. So it's coming along nice, the weight's tight in. Hey, love, Lego, what's up, bro? Welcome back. I see you got a new avatar. Man, it's been a long time, brother. It's great to have you here. Super pumped that you're here joining us. I tried looking for you uh, recently, and I, have, I, I noticed that you haven't posted anything. You were doing a great job. Keep it up. But I'm glad you're here. I don't want to beat you up for not posting, but uh, your stuff was coming coming out it was great man keep it up you got great energy i was thinking maybe i need to entice him coming back to the channel maybe i need to send you something uh for you to post man <laughs> some lego star wars That's awesome. So it's been a while. What, what's what's been going on with you? Work, school. What's up? I hope you're doing great. I hope it wasn't uh, health related. You know, I get it. You know, there it does come pressure when you're uh, when you're uh, uploading videos on YouTube. But that's only if you're trying to accomplish something that um, that's kind of against your passion, right? So if it's your passion, you do it when you when you can, and have good positive. Uh, experiences with it and I, I think you'll get better not you but one will get better results when you when you're focused on your passion over over everything else it'll triumph over everything uh, above everything else I did end up getting that Millennium Falcon though I told you I was going to get it because I have the UCS uh, but I ended up getting it in fact Um, I'm the same way too, you know, with my son, on Instagram and his YouTube channel at blue instinct gaming. I took off all the comments. I took off all the comments. Um, but you know, his last, one of his last videos has like over 24 K views. So you guys might want to check it out. His codes on Roblox. But yeah, I can see privacy being an issue, especially these days. Um, you just never know, you know. You just never know. So it's better to be safe than sorry. There's a time and place for everything. And uh, who knows, that time will come uh, when, when, when it's your time. So just be patient with it. But it's, it's great to have you here on the stream. Yeah, no, I get it, man. It's all good. I, no wonder I tagged you a couple times and like, what's wrong with him? Um, wanted you to follow us here on the stream, but uh, but that makes sense. So it's cool, man. Don't worry about it. Time time will come. I, I'm just happy that you're here. You're enjoying the stream, hanging out. Even though we're kind of towards the end of this uh, section of the build, but uh, you might want to check out Mike. He has his live stream going on right now. Uh, we're kind of overlapping each other, but it's all good. He's building the uh, Lego Nin uh, Ninjago City Gardens. He just picked it up a couple days ago. I think he's on day three. Does a phenomenal job with his live streams. In fact, he's kind of my one of my inspirations of, of you know, taking uh, this channel live. So I really appreciated some of the work he did, and he encouraged me. And, you know, here we are today. We're connecting with great people like yourself on the Lego community and, you know, fr our friends from across the pond as well.
All right, so I got a couple extra pieces here, but I'm pretty sure I messed up somewhere. I'm pretty confident of that, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, let's see where these pieces go. Nope, that looks like it's good. This looks good. Yeah, it looks like I have a few extra pieces, guys. That's a plus. Extra Lego. But before I get confident, or too confident, that I actually did something right, uh, let me take a look here. All right, I see that there's potentially something that goes here. Let me see what that is. Yeah, my uh, it is quite uh, glitchy right now because I don't have the the hard wire for my um, my computer, so I'm actually streaming off of a Wi-Fi um, network. So I'm going to go ahead and just end this. Um, or internet company come out and and take care of that just because I just haven't had time. But I do want to have it hardwired so it wouldn't be as glitchy. So it's here at SoCal Bricks, same one. But hey, I would say never let a bad connection stop you from going live. You know, it's about the experience and who you connect with. Uh, that makes it memorable, but I do. My intention is to have good quality here, but if it doesn't work out. Sometimes it's it's okay. We're still connecting. I, I met Dak, met Daniel, Oriel Mad. Like they've been here on the live stream, so it's been cool. Yeah, thanks. It's nice to have you back. You know, interestingly enough, I remember uh, our oldest daughter, when she was in high school, we did not give her permission to have um, Facebook. It's just one of the things we wanted um, her to avoid because it's it can get nasty, guys. It can get nasty out there. And then you never know. There's some people that don't always have good intentions. So, you you know, it makes sense to keep yourself protected. All right, guys, so uh, looks like I got that covered. We have a few extra pieces here. So we can just add this to the uh, bucket of extra pieces or maybe do some modifications here. I won't make any modifications to the cantina yet until I'm um, actually uh, completed the set. So uh, that's kind of how op I operate. I don't do uh, original stuff. Uh, I just build original stuff off of stuff that's already made and then I just put it my own twist on it but here it is this looks like this is one section of the cantina this is a, obviously the base of it and here she is you have three uh, separate boots a couple of uh, cups here for the drinks nice setup here got a one nice table here Put some Lego minifigures there, building Legos. Maybe some of those missing pieces. Uh, oh, Matt, I don't intend on building tomorrow. I will be posting on Monday here in the States. It's a holiday. We're celebrating Martin Luther King. And uh, I have some time there in the morning, uh, Pacific time, probably around 9 to 10 a.m. I'm not too sure, but uh, I'll let you guys know on Instagram, and then I'll put a... Uh, a post here, premiere post um, on YouTube with, with the exact time. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. That's great. Um, I don't think I can finish this thing. Um, it's really big. And I'm entertained uh, by having conversations with you all. 
So, I mean, if it was just me building, not saying anything or not communicating, I'm sure I can get it done quickly. Uh, but just the fact that I'm entertained with you guys, which makes this really enjoyable for me, I don't think I can complete this in one like live stream. I would love to, uh, but we'll see how much we do on Monday. I, I tend to just keep on going until my mouth gets dry uh, or I pass out or I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get as much done on Monday for you guys to connect. Let's, let's do this again. This is a lot of fun, guys. I appreciate you all being here. It's great meeting uh, some of you guys for the first time ever. Let's stay connected on Instagram. Uh, send me a DM or whatever, a like or a follow. I'll do the same in return. Let's connect uh, on Monday. In the meantime, enjoy your uh, holiday. For those of you in the States, across the pond, enjoy your Sunday. And uh, cheers, mate. Take care. And uh, again, we'll see you on Monday for the, uh, I'm not going to say the remainder, but some of the remaining uh, parts of the Lego Moss Isley Cantina. Hopefully there's more mini coming up. I'm looking at the instructions here. Off the bat, there's already one here uh, that we can add to this collection. So it seems like every bag has a character or a minifigure. So I can't wait to showcase those with you guys. You guys can enjoy them. Uh, let's connect. And you guys have a wonderful evening and a blessed morning for you across the pond. So I know I just rat rattled on there, but I really appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. Just know that you guys are never alone. You guys can always connect here with SoCal Bricks. We'll have that connection with Lego and uh, keep it positive. Uh, Mike, he says, keep building. In fact, if you want to check out his live stream, go ahead. As soon as I end this, you guys might want to cl uh, click on his channel. It's called The Cool Factor. He's building the Lego Ninjago City Gardens. Go check him out. He's great. Uh, he's got Star Wars content there as well. So enjoy it, guys. Peace out. See you next time. Bye.